okay everyone and this video will uh, go through uh, with detailed configuration of uh, rates uh, on rate on, on rate groups uh, there is not nothing much to explain because there is only one name which you need to add the basic and detailed configuration is inside this group so we'll go there or let me make another rate group for this example I'll make a detailed rate group I just give a random name okay so I'll click submit now I will go to this rate group I'm going to add few country code and their area code area prefix again double four one double four is uh, a UK country code and for landline the area prefix is one I'm going to select international and I'm going to sell this rate at 0 0.008 per minute Hit submit okay here I will pause the video and uh, I'll add a few rates uh, with same flow and then I'll start the video again okay I have already added a uh, few prefix with the uh, country code of uh, USA and UK now these are very very simple and easy and here I did one mistake actually I had to you know enter area prefix, prefix 7 and mistakenly I have added 4 so what I need to do I need to delete it and add it again so because you can't add it the prefix in added option so I have to delete it and add it again international and the price is 2 cent per minute okay, now I'll hit submit now these configuration uh, are very easy and simple for example what prefix you will give to your customer for UK you will give double four one double four two for UK landline double four seven for UK mobile double zero one for United States okay now we have some other scenarios as well that you want to give some other prefix to your customers then how would you add uh, you know uh, how would you add those prefix uh, let me give you one example by adding one I'll suppose that I, I, I want to you know give prefix starting from triple seven for United States okay I'll add triple zero and double zero and here I'll add one okay now with this example your customer will dial with this prefix triple seven double zero one if he'll send if uh, the customer will send call with this prefix then call will go through usually what uh, mistake you know um, uh, admin do at this stage what they do they add triple zero seven double triple tri sorry triple seven double zero one and they copy and paste the same prefix here now with this configuration call will be failed because you ha you have added rate prefix and area prefix all again so let me correct it again it has to be like this triple seven double zero one this is how your customer is going to send you call now for rate type I'm going to select international since this is an 
you know uh, an international code and I'll hit submit now what I'm going to do I will add one more rate with different prefix now I'll assume that my customer will send calls with triple eight to UK mobile okay so we know uh, UK country code is double four and mobile area prefix is known as seven so I have added double four and seven but before double four I have added triple eight now my customer will send me call with this with this prefix triple eight double four seven if the customer will send me call with this prefix then his call will go through with wrong configuration his call will be rejected I'll hit submit So we have added all possible option that we can have in rate uh, in on rates. Okay. Now there is one more way to add rate, which is much easier and simple. Uh, on this area, only one area, one field is is compulsory. That is area prefix, and you you can see the red static is um, you know is there to show you that this field is compulsory the easiest way is like you can directly add you know country code double four seven on this on this field I mean you can skip here if you will add like this again this call will go through and it will work okay let me tell you again this is the most easiest way to add the rate uh, either you can add country code and prefix on this uh, rate prefix or you can add whole prefix country code and area prefix all together on this on this area prefix field for example double four seven is mobile you can buy uh, uh, area prefix so I have added country code plus seven similarly if I want like uh, you know I want to add uh, triple three prefix uh, before country code I can do this here as well now my customer would have to send the call starting with triple three double four seven for UK mobile okay now I'll select international again I'll add the rate now you will see with this configuration the call will go through okay in this example I have added with all possible options uh, I have added the rate rates with all possible options okay you can see all these options here like in first option I have added prefix country code and area prefix in second I have added everything on one row okay then we have all one by one so that's it on uh, add rate now if you want to edit you know rate you can go here you can change the rate and you can lock your current rate if you if you need to and you can change the billing cycle two two things that you cannot change is uh, are uh, rate prefix and area prefix rest you can change okay so I'll, I'll I have logged the uh, this rate. I'll hit submit. And it's logged. Okay. Now for this example, let me change the billing rate to let's say five. Okay. 
okay now we can see this has been successfully changed okay now let's see what next option uh, we have in uh, in uh, rate options we have import export and change rates let's go to import okay from here you can import the rates now we have two type uh, two sample files which you can download and uh, you know add the rates according to your need one is comma separated which is usually used in uh, Asian countries and United States and we have semicolon separated which is which are usually used in EU countries but it's depending on your uh, requirement which one are you are using you can use that you know file so I am using comma separated file so I'll, I will download this this file okay save it okay we have this file right here I have opened this file okay uh, we have four columns you can delete the sample and you can create your own uh, rate prefix area prefix billing rate and billing cycle you can save it and then you can export this rate back again okay this is very simple it's uh, there is nothing much to explain i think so i'll just simply close this file okay let's do one thing first let me export this rate and i'll i'll import this this rate into another group i'll make a new group first let me let me export the this rate okay with comma separated export save this file in csv let me close this tab and let me go to rates and i'll add another rate test import rate okay i'll go here now here is it i'll go inside this group and I will select the file. I'll go to import, browse. Here is it. I'll select this file, which I, you know, I exported. Now I'll open and hit submit button. If the file size is really heavy, then this may can take some time to import the rates. Okay, you see this time it has been successfully imported now next option we have change rates okay okay if i if i if i select uh, you know leave it empty this this column this column and uh, i'll make any change for example i'll make it international right now we can see it's domestic okay I'll make it international and uh, I will not change anything else now I'll hit submit let's see what happened okay you see it changed all uh, all prefix rate uh, rate type to international it didn't change the rate didn't change anything else now let me take example that for double zero one I want to change the lock type I'll make it lock I'll hit submit now this time this is uh, you know we, we can see it get locked so let's do one more test for this area prefix what i want 
I want to change the rate. Area prefix. Let me assume that the rate is going to be 0 0.06. Now I'll hit submit button. Okay, you can see the rate is changed to 0.06. So that's all. These are the detailed configuration of rates. We have gone through uh, adding new rates with different variation of uh, uh, rates and prefix and import and export and change rate options. Uh, that that's it. Uh, we'll see you in the next video then. Bye bye.